What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Lego Minifigure of the Day. Today we'll be taking a look at Ginny Weasley. Uh, she came out in two sets from 2002 to 2003 as part of the Lego Harry Potter line. Uh, guys, this minifigure's... Uh, I gotta be honest, it's got the same faults that I have with uh, basically every other early Harry Potter minifigure. Um, I think there's some great design work on here. I think that the torso looks great. I think that the uh, cape looks really good. Um, as per usual, I do think that the stars would look better on the outside of the cape and not on the inside. It's incredibly hard to see them whenever they're on the inside of the cape, yet that's where the instructions say to put them. That's where Bricklink says to put them. Um, I do like the hairpiece on this one. Um, honestly, off the top of my head, I can't really remember how accurate it is, but I mean... Now, obviously, she's got red hair, so, I mean, you know, <laughs> it's got to be at least decently accurate because of that. Um, I do also think that the face printing, um, I mean, it's not the best thing in the world, <laughs> obviously. Um, I've got the same complaints with it that I usually have. I think that it's very odd. Um, also, for some reason, the black on her cape is a... Uh, really messing with the the autofocus on the camera and the the coloring the color timing so i apologize for that um but i mean overall uh, she's not a bad minifigure her average use price is around six dollars um, like i said it's just a lot of the same complaints i usually have with these guys i i have with her i think the face print's weird but i think everything else is pretty good uh, to me she's easily an eight out of ten um i think that's a fair assessment for a lot of these early harry potter minifigures they they laid a good foundation, but there were a lot of areas that they could improve upon. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow. Represent.